it's James here with the Sawyer Family Reviews channel. Today is Wednesday, January 16th, 2019. Still getting used to saying 2019. This is your weekly comic book pickups video. Every week, I pick up my boys at least one comic each. Oftentimes, it's more than one. And I pick up my daughter, Gracie, one as well, even though she can't read yet. I pick up all my comics at Queen City Comics in Fairfield, Ohio, zip code 45014. If you're in the area, you like comics, go check out the shop. All right, so True Believers, the Marvel reprint series, is still focused on Conan, thanks to the return of Conan to Marvel Comics. Uh, there are two this week, and as always, they're only a dollar each. Uh, first up is this one, Curse of the Gol Golden Skull. And this is... Ooh, I can already see. I know who this artist is. This looks like uh, Neil Adams. I hope I'm right. This is a reprint of Conan the Barbarian, number 37. And... It's, oh yeah, written by Roy Thomas with art by Neil Adams. Inspired by the short story Robert e. by Robert E. Howard, creator of Conan, The Curse of the Golden Skull. So yeah, this is going to be good. It's Roy Thomas, based on Robert E. Howard, with art by Neil Adams. It's a dollar. You can't go wrong. So there's that. Some guy at the shop ordered ten of those, ten copies of those, and it's only going to cost you ten bucks. That's, that's a great deal. Uh, okay, next up is True Believers, Conan the Barbarian, Sword vs. Sorcery, at its mightiest, at last, by popular demand, Conan's fiercest foe, the she-devil Bellet, Queen of the Black Coast. And this is a reprint of Conan the Barbarian, number 58. This time around, it's still written by Roy Thomas, adapted from the story by Robert E. Howard, but the art this time is by the fabulous John Basima. Um, so again, you can't go wrong. These are a dollar. I have to reiterate here. This is only a dollar, and this is a great classic Conan comic. So, there's those. That's the True Believers this week. Um, I don't know how long Conan's going to stick around, but so far, so good, man. Those have been really fun. Next up is a book for Gracie, Uncle Scrooge, My First Millions, Issue 4. I'm pretty sure she has the first three now. Uh, she loves DuckTales. She loves Uncle Scrooge. Um, these are tons of fun. Uh, I used to really like reading little Disney digests and stuff like that when I was a kid. So I can understand why she likes looking at these and checking them out. And Keaton reads them sometimes, too. Uh, just good, fun books by IDW. Um, hmm, next up is a book for Blaze. I actually have the most books this week. Just, that's a spoiler warning. Um, issue 2 of Conan for Marvel. Legacy numbering 277. I didn't notice that before. Uh, by Jason Aaron and Mahmoud Ma Asrar. This cover's by Isad Ribic, though, I think. Uh, I've heard really good things about the first issue. I haven't talked to Blaze yet about it to see what he thought about it and to borrow it from him so I could read it. Um, this art's nice, though. Yeah, this looks good. All right. Yeah, a lot of people are saying the first issue was really good. It read like an old Conan Marvel comic. And that's a good thing. Uh, I, I like Jason Aaron's writing. From the things I have read of Jason Aaron, I did enjoy them. So I would assume that this is going to be good too. All right, next up is a book for Keaton. Venom number 10. He read that Venom, dog Venom thing last week, and he said it was just weird. He, he didn't really understand what it was coming from or where it was. So hopefully getting back to the regular book be a different story. And this continues Donnie Cates writing, Ryan Stegman doing the pencils. Um, I do not know what's going on with the book. Keith knows. I don't know. The art is decent. If you've liked this writer and this, this art team so far, I'm sure it's just more of the same. I'm not seeing a whole lot of Venom, though, as I'm going through here. So I wonder if this that whole dog Venom thing ties into it, because there's a dog. Maybe it's a Venom dog. So, yeah. Um, now the rest are all me. Can you believe that? I got, I got four books here. That's crazy. I don't know why I'm still buying this. Return of Wolverine number four. I should just give up, but I'm interested to see the Return of Wolverine. And even though I'm not really enjoying this book so far, I'm hopeful that it gets better. These covers look like Barry Windsor Smith. Like, he's aping that style, the guy that's doing the covers, who is um, Steve McNiven. The artist inside is Declan Shelby, though. I, I don't really enjoy that. I think the first issue had McNiven art inside, and then everything else has been this artist. And 
as I'm flipping through this, I'm really, um, really not enjoying this. Yeah, I don't know why I did this. I, I don't know why I did this to myself. I should have put this back, but I bought it. Well, you'll know next time. If I don't pick up five, it really means that I, I just can't do it anymore. All right. Um, Ghostbusters IDW 2020. The 20 years of IDW specials. So I think this is... I don't, this isn't the weekly event, I don't think. I think this is just the IDW 2020 special. And it's... Um, let's see what it says here. 20 years in the future. Welcome to IDW's 2020 event celebrating IDW's 20th anniversary. This series takes a look at some of our favorite storylines jumping 20 years either in the future or the past. Oh, that's kind of cool. So that they did that, this for... Um, there was a Turtles 2020 as well today. But this makes sense now why they chose Sanctum of Slime for this 2020 special because it's it takes place, I guess, later on when the original Ghostbusters are kind of retired and there's a new team in the future. So that's kind of cool. And look, there you go. So this will be good. It's not um, Danny Shoning doing art, which is kind of a bummer. It's, it is story art by Dan Shoning. Wow, I didn't realize that. He's totally different in this book. I'm Correct me there. I'm, I'm, I'm totally wrong. Uh, so it's Eric Burnham and Dan Shoning. Hey, that guy's like a chameleon, man. This looks totally different than his regular art. He's matching kind of that the art style of the game. That's really impressive. Um, wow, that was really cool. So that should be good. Um, and then I, I picked up Marvel Comics Presents number one. And this features Wolverine, Captain America, and Namor. I loved Marvel Comics Presents as a kid. It was one of my favorite comics because you got multiple stories in one comic. And yeah, you just got a little chunk for each one, but it was fun being able to have like a Wolverine comic and a Spider-Man comic and like a, a Stingray comic all in one um, that you got little chunks of each story. So in this one, the Wolverine story is by Charles Soule, who did that Daredevil run that Blaze really liked with Paulo Sequeira doing the art. And I really have no idea where this story takes place in time. I just know it's a little Wolverine story. And then there's a Namor story. And if I go back, maybe I'll see. Without ruining that Wolverine story. Greg Pack, artist Tom Cooker. I guess they're different eras, and it says up top. Marvel Spotlight. Captain America. And Ascenti, wow! Prince Lord Grand Land, that should be fun. Okay, yeah, so this should be a fun book. This is worth checking out. It was $4.99, which is kind of a bummer. So was the um, the Conan, I believe, was $3.99 this time, right? Yeah, Conan was $3.99. Return of Wolverine was $3.99. So I guess it was th those two. Ah, this was the other $4.99 when I picked up. Again, I don't know why I grabbed this. Or was this $3.99? No, this $4.99. Um, I think I picked this up because Butch Geist did some art. I'm like mangling the book trying to find the page. Okay, I, I love Stan Lee. I'm enjoying that the, everyone's giving me a tribute, but I, those four black pages in the front really kind of frustrate me when I'm trying to figure out what's going on. So Chip Zdarsky's doing the art writing, and that goes back and forth. Artists are Carlos Magno and Butch Geist, and it looks like Butch Geist does all the Invader stuff in the past, and that's what enticed me to pick up the book. I really like Butch Geist's art, so I was willing to give this a chance. I really like uh, Winter Soldier. Apparently he's in a book from the cover. And you've got, I guess this is more of the modern day stuff by Carlos Magna. So I guess it's a storyline that tinges on something that happened in the past and then current day ramifications with Namor and the other invaders. And that is it. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Um, man, a crazy amount of books for me this week. I'm going to have to cut back for myself. Uh, as always, if you have anything for us to check out, leave it in the comments below. I can't always promise we're going to check it out, but we're always looking for suggestions. And we may grab a trade or two after a whole series is out and pick it up. I know that um, Batman White Knight was one of the ones that got suggested. And I am going to pick up the trade. It's just a matter of timing. Uh, yeah. So if you enjoy the videos, please click like. Please click subscribe. Please click notify. Um, yeah. And I'll see you guys next Wednesday.